Nurse Master Charlie presents Gastroparesis. What is gastroparesis? Gastro refers to the stomach and paresis refers to paralysis or a partial paralysis. So it would be defined as a paralysis of the stomach. It is also described as delayed gastric emptying. Gastroparesis is a disease where the stomach cannot process, digest, or empty out food as it normally would. In gastroparesis, stomach nerves become damaged, which in turn affect digestion muscles of the stomach. This does not let the stomach function properly, which slows the process of digestion. What causes the nerve damage in gastroparesis? Nerve impulses travel to and from the brain and the stomach. If this pathway is damaged, or more specifically, the nerves of the stomach are damaged, then the ability for the stomach to perform its function will be impaired. Nerve damage, or neuropathy, is the cause of gastroparesis. Nerve damage, specifically to the vagus nerve, can be due to many reasons, but a primary reason is uncontrolled blood glucose levels due to diabetes. Diabetes is a primary cause of gastroparesis. It is due to elevated blood glucose levels that this type of diabetic neuropathy occurs. Gastric surgery can lead to gastroparesis when the nerves of the stomach have been mechanically damaged. Injury to the nerves, such as any type of injury that causes damage to the nerves or pathway to the nerves of the stomach. Viral infections. Autoimmune disorders such as scleroderma. And a rare disease called amyloidosis, which are deposits of protein fibers that can affect the tissues and organs of the digestive tract, such as the stomach. Medications such as opiates or narcotics and antidepressants. Sometimes it is not known why gastroparesis happens. This is called idiopathic. How is gastroparesis diagnosed? Through discussing signs and symptoms with your healthcare provider, physical examination, lab work, gastric emptying studying such as centigraphy, a smart pill. Now a bowel obstruction such as a tumor must be ruled out. What are the symptoms of gastroparesis? The symptoms of gastroparesis include stomach bloating, stomach or abdominal pain, feeling full quickly, nausea or vomiting, even vomiting undigested food, heartburn, weight loss, poor appetite, and poor blood glucose control, whether hypoglycemia and or hyperglycemia. Complications of gastroparesis. Malnutrition from lack of absorption of nutrients. Dehydration from lack of absorption and vomiting. Fermentation of food by bacteria not digested timely in the stomach and a formation of bezoars, which are masses of food that have become hardened and can cause additional issues such as bowel obstructions. Treatment for gastroparesis through hydration, good glucose control, through medications such as Reglan, though this should be used short term, erythromycin, antiemetics. If diabetes is the cause, controlling blood glucose levels, this can prevent further damage. Surgery such as gastric bypass and gastric electrical stimulation. August is gastroparesis month. Be sure to like and share, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment about gastroparesis. Do you or someone you know suffer from gastroparesis? I am Nurse Master Charlie. Thank you for watching.